is no doubt that we are living in difficult times with people getting ill from COVID-19 to social distancing to businesses closing. There's usually not a lot to make you feel positive and upbeat. Yet each month, the person joining us today is all about bringing us positive, upbeat stories that have us looking at our world in a new light. Host Mike is back on the couch to tell us more about the stories we'll be watching in tomorrow night's Kelloland on the Road episode. Welcome, Mike Huther. It's so good to be with you and certainly all the Kelloland viewers. And, and absolutely, uh, if you need positive, if you need motivation, if you need uplifting, On the Road does that and more. And tomorrow night's show, oh my goodness, you won't want to miss it. Yeah, you were already telling me all about it, how these are some of your favorite ones, and you're so right with that. This is always positive. It's these stories that we would never know of no. if we didn't have no. Kelloland on the road. So let's go through a little behind the scenes of sure. what we're going to see in each of these. Sure. So the first town you stopped at. Crestbard. Uh, we're in Crestbard, South Dakota, and we meet these two wonderful uh, partners in life, uh, as well as partners in terms of taking care of uh, some causes that are really important, uh, the American Legion and the American Legion Auxiliary. Um, Barb and, and uh, Wayne, otherwise known as Red Vetter, uh, they really are doing good stuff, not only for their own Crestbard Legion, but across the state and, yes, across uh, the country. These folks are involved in a big way. So tell me a little bit how you got this story idea to do this one? Well, when it came to this one, uh, we were just doing some research on that area, and we found out about uh, the positive uh, way that these folks are, are doing good things. And then we went in and we found out it's, it's really, really true. Uh, and then to tie in even more, once you get to Crestbard, you find out that this is kind of the heart of uh, those who serve. Uh, and they've got a really powerful story of a, of a World War II veteran who really uh, was one of the big war heroes of the time, and he's from Crestbard. He's from South Dakota, and we talk about that and so much more. And this is a pretty small town. <laughs> well, uh, Taylor and I, we go to a lot of small towns, but yeah, this is another small, small one. And But again, it just shows the importance of why, you know, people lead, why they invest in their communities, why they're good stewards. And, and that Legion Hall in Crestbard, it is the place to be for all kinds of reasons. So from there, the trip led you to Millbank, South Dakota. We go to Millbank, and uh, kind of interesting, uh, Brittany. Uh, I was at an event at SDSU. Uh, yes, I was having a glass of wine, and all of a sudden somebody came up and said, Mike, have I got a story for you. Do you know what's going on in Millbank? And uh, from there, uh, I found out the story about what I, may, what I believe it may be the best scholarship program in all of Kelloland. What they're doing in Millbank to support their students when they graduate from high school there is just phenomenal. And uh, Kelloland, I know that right now we're kind of in a unique time where we've got kids who are not in school, we've got seniors that are graduating, we're kind of wondering what's next. Well, pay attention to this story because it'll show you how you can make a difference in your community at your high school with your students uh, to not only lift them up while they're in school, but maybe more importantly, lift them up and support them as they're leaving. And Millbank does that and more. They've got a scholarship program that you will not believe, and we'll tell you how they do it uh, in, in, uh, on tomorrow night's show. Yeah, it sounds very inspiring. Is Thank there you. anything surprising you found while visiting Millbank? Millbank is a really good town. I mean, they're doing good stuff there. They've got a lot of good things going on. But I think that what the message is is that no matter how big or small your town is, if you really do care about your students, their education, um, making a difference, investing in them, you're going to find those dividends pay in a big, big way. Not only for the students, but as tomorrow night's story will talk about, also the donors. The donors of these scholarships, they get a really positive feeling uh, and rewards as well. So then after this, you stopped in Madison. Kelloland, I mean it. You need positive. You need uplifting right now. You do not want to miss this story that we found in Madison. Don't. No, I don't care how you're feeling. You will feel so much better after you watch the story about Keith Bundy in Madison, South Dakota. It may be the best one we've ever done. Don't miss it. Don't miss it. Uh, it is that powerful. And this is a story about a, a pastor 
who, um, uh, him and his wife Peg, uh, they moved to Madison. They were making a difference, and they're doing so many great things for Dakota State University and Madison. But, Kellen, I'm not going to give you the punchline. I'm not going to tell you what this is all about. You have to watch it uh, because you won't believe what this story is about and what you're going to see and how it will make you motivated about life and the difference that you can make with these special days that you're given. Don't miss it. You're making me very interested now because you're not giving me no. anything. I'm not really sure no. what to, where no. to go with this. But how did you come across this story? I had a high school classmate who sent me an email saying, Mike, Deb and I were at a basketball game at Dakota State University last night, and we thought of you and on the road, have we got a story for you. And Mike Roach, Deb Roach, Dakota State University, I thank you because this story, <laughs> it's just wonderful. And no matter what it is that we're dealing with in life, and these challenges that we, you know, yes, that we're, we're, we're challenged with right now. When you watch this show, you're going to go, bring it on, life. I can handle it and more. And uh, Keith Bundy will help explain it to you. So now you've went to some of these towns with no idea for sure what the story is going to be. You've gotten story ideas yes. from people in the community. Yeah. For other people who are listening and maybe have an idea, what makes a good story to share for Kellen on the road? Um, you know, I'll, I'm still doing uh, kind of these these behind-the-scenes meetings with communities. Uh, right now, I'm, I'm doing them through a conference call. Well, I'll have, you know, a mayor, a couple of other community leaders, and we'll talk about what makes a good story. Something that is hidden, uh, that folks don't know about, that's unique, uh, that's motivating. Uh, and, yes, that's kind of good for TV, okay. too. Something that's uh, positive, because right now we don't have a lot of positive. But well, yeah. Thank you so much, Mike, for joining us my today. My pleasure. Yeah. Take care, everybody. Don't miss tomorrow night's I'm show. I'm excited for this one. Thank you. It's going to be good.